I don't know what to say Sandra. But we have to bring these findings to Madam Lena, your CEO. <laughs> she thought that she could advance quickly in her career. Never would she have thought that she would be in this position. Let me call her to find out how miserable she is. Oh, it's Zoe. She's finally called me. Hi Zoe, how are you? I'm okay Sandra, how have you been dear? I'm devastated. Do you have any news on what might be going on with the investigation? That's the reason why I'm calling you. It's already been two weeks since they suspended you, right? Correct. I've heard that the police have now been called to investigate. Really? Since when? They have been called to the office and are currently speaking with Madame Lena. If I were you, I'd look for a lawyer and possibly another job. Or maybe, run away and leave the country. This might end up being a police case after all. Oh God, what will I do now? Leaving the country would be the best option. All right. Thanks for letting me know. You are welcome. <clears throat> I heard part of the conversation. Was that Zoe? Yes, it was. She called to tell me that management is accusing me of embezzling funds, and it might turn out to be a police case. I don't know what to do anymore. You know, there's something I find peculiar with Zoe. Is she really your friend? I've known her from our college days. <clears throat> Before this whole incident, she once called me aside and she told me that you are cheating on me. Really? You know I would never cheat on you, Jeremy. Had I not known your character, I would have probably believed her. I have seen how she looks at you whenever I drop you at work. She looks at you with spite and envy. I don't know why I suspect there's foul play in this whole case. It's like someone set you up to get you fired. I think you were right. I have had over seven years in accounting, but never have I ever experienced this. Never. Thank you Madam Chief Officer for seeing me. No problem Madam. There has been some foul play with our accounts, and from our recent audit, there is a deficit of $1 million. We have indeed checked our bank statement, and that money seems to be missing. Our assistant lead accountant deals with our funds transfer, but she insists that she has done nothing wrong. We need you to issue a warrant for her arrest immediately. Who could that be? Good evening, sir. We are looking for Sandra King. What's going on, police officer? We have a warrant for her arrest. Oh God, please help me. I really need your help. Lord, you said in your word in Joshua 1, 9 Be strong and courageous, do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I really need you right now God. You know that I did not steal any money. Oh Lord, you know that I did not alter the financial statements to be fraudulent. However, I know that you are my defender and judge. Contend, O Lord, with those that contend with me. Fight against those that fight against me, according to Psalm 35, 1. May those who plot my ruin be turned back in dismay. May the net they hid entangle them. If I have been set up, please reveal these people in broad daylight. Ashame my accusers, O Jehovah. According to Deuteronomy 28, 7, it's written that you shall make the enemies who rise up against me be defeated before me. They might come against me in one direction, but flee in seven ways. O oh God arise, and let your enemies be scattered. Let them be disgraced and put to shame. In Psalm 23, 5-6, I decree and declare that you Lord shall prepare a table before me, in the presence of my enemies. 
You shall anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I thank you because you have taken up my case, and that you are fighting for me. I pray in the name of Jesus, Amen. Oh, hello Madam Chief Officer. What can I do for you today? Hello Madam Lena. I have decided to visit your office to give you a report. Okay, please have a seat. We were able to arrest Sandri yesterday evening, after you had left our office. Good. Is she still at the station? She is, but she has the right to be bailed out. However, I kept pondering the whole night about her case. She appears to genuinely be shocked that she is a suspect. You told me yesterday that your internal CCTV cameras have not been functional for about two months, is that correct? Correct. We need incriminating evidence to show that she embezzled funds. But something in this case feels off. Have you considered that she might have been set up? I hadn't thought of that until you mentioned it. It's true, she doesn't look like the type of person who would do this. Oh. I have just remembered. All our accounts office workstations are fitted with micro Wi-Fi cameras. We had them fitted, because of how sensitive the accounts office is. I think we also have footage of their webcams on their laptops too. That's great. Can we get footage, specifically from her computer and workstation, for the past two months? Yes, sure. I'll arrange for you to get it. Thank you for coming down to the station quickly. We reviewed the footage from Sandra's workstation. And we noticed something strange. Okay, what did you see? More of who did we see? Do you recognize this lady on Sandra's desk? That's... That's Zoe. She's not even in the accounts department. What would she be doing on Sandra's workstation, at night? Exactly. We also compared the date, according to the footage, with when the account statement started having faults, and it all happened around the same time. Wow. This is unbelievable. Yes, this was an act of sabotage. Are you Zoe Mullet? Yes, I am. I need you to come with me to the police station. May I ask what I have done wrong? We just need to ask you a few questions. Isn't that you in that video? What were you doing on Sandra's workstation, especially at night? I just happened to be seated on her desk, that's all. Really? The video has captured you installing some software on her computer. That doesn't mean anything. I don't know anything about accounting, so how would I manipulate the statements? Oh Zoe, come on. If I were you, I would look for a lawyer. We have evidence that you tampered with Sandra's records. I have a right to remain silent until my lawyer arrives. We are glad to have you back Sandra, after what happened. I would like to apologize on behalf of the management. I'm glad to be back Madam Lena. As you now know, the whole issue was a case of sabotage. Anyone who is caught doing anything of the sort will face the full force of the law. So don't worry. We have also settled with you on matters of defamation and have compensated you for the same. The assistant lead position is still available. Would you still like to work with us? Thank you Madam Lena. Yes, I would still like to work for your company. Good. Welcome back. It's never a good idea to be jealous of anyone. Acts of jealousy always end in pain. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel.